this movie felt like a fever dream the entire time. Let me, I'll, I'll describe this movie the best I can here. Ready? And it is the worst movie that I've ever seen ever in my entire life. Yet somehow it's not as bad as Still Magnolias. <laughs> it, this is this is definitely top three worst movies I've ever seen. I hated this movie so much, but I did enjoy it more than White Christmas. I I did not enjoy this in any in any way. Capacity? No. Yeah, there's zero enjoyment that I that I experienced watching this movie. This was truly truly awful where did you find it i couldn't even it was very hard for me to even locate it was on youtube i looked on youtube i didn't see it did you yeah the whole thing's on youtube did you watch the one that's like a a mini screen though yeah oh okay i didn't want to do that so we this is our hate us series where people donate on patreon and choose a terrible movie for us to watch and this month uh, from our friends Ken and Fallon Rowe, donated towards making us watch uh, Killer Clowns. With a K. With a K from Outer Which Space. Which I hate more than anything in my life. <laughs> I hate things spelled with a K or a Z instead of an S. It drives me nuts. Yeah. Which is why I really hate the company Killer Customs. Or, no, sorry, Crazy Customs. <laughs> Ugh. I know we're probably going to lose our sponsorship with them, yeah. but I have to say it. I can't, I can't stand it. Um, this borders on being much more than like a hate us episode and more like a pure evil. Yeah. Yeah. This was, this, like, this was torturous. This was so bad. They wanted to hurt us. <laughs> they wanted to hurt us. This, and I don't get why. The, the thing is, I was shocked because you were born in 1988. I thought you were the worst thing to come out that year. Turns yeah, out, yeah, so did I. You're the second. It was Killer Clowns, <laughs> yeah. the second worst. Uh, it is, I like. It's not even fun to watch as like, oh, it's a bad movie. Let's make like fun of it. Yeah, like the room or something like that. This, it's, it's not enjoyable whatsoever. But there are a couple moments that I did find kind of like I got a little chuckle out of. But they were very few and far between, so it was truly, truly awful. Why don't you? Nothing about this movie even made sense. Why don't you break down the premise? Okay, so there is a group of aliens that look like clowns, and they come to Earth. I don't know if they like crash here intentionally or whatnot. But they basically come here to eat humans, and they kill a bunch of people. They go crazy on like this small town, all with like carnival-related weapons and deaths. Yeah, popcorn and, guns. Uh, it's the only one. The only one that kind of stood out was when he was fighting that uh, biker guy, and he just punches his head off. <laughs> I don't remember that being like a carnival game. Uh, yeah, that w- um, that was just him punching a guy in the head. It was so awful. The clowns look like, um, like horror clowns, right? Yeah, you know, like they're and they got they got the stupid clown clothes on. They're just like these dumpy looking dudes, real kind of shortish, and they make weird little sounds. And everything they do is like things that clowns would do. So are they aliens dressed as clowns or are they just aliens that look like clowns and do everything that clowns do? Is that whole planet clowns or is there like – is that a race? And then there's also like a mime race and like a magician race. (laughs) And then like the president is like the ringleader. I want to know what else is going on on this planet. And uh, what what what's their purpose? Yeah, it, it is it just a snack? 
Because I actually I think one of the characters does say that he says may, something along the lines of, "Oh, maybe they just stopped here for a quick bite to eat." <laughs> that could very well be it. But why? So is the premise that all clowns are aliens, or is there humans? Uh, I think so. That dress up like clowns in this world. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, is there what we would consider? Like, do clowns exist on Earth before the aliens? Yes. Yeah, they would have to, or the people wouldn't know that these are clowns. Unless all the clowns on the Earth are just aliens who... They just coexist? Coexist. So, (laughs) yeah, I'm going to say that they're just aliens that happen to look like clowns. I don't... I don't know. I don't it, know. It's so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> it, we're. I think we're having well, there, a really hard time talking about this movie because it makes zero sense. Like there's it no, makes no sense at all. There, there's a, there's about twenty to thirty minutes in the middle of the movie where a girl hops in the shower, and they cut away. Yes, and they go to the other subplots, the other storylines that are going on. They're all driving around town, fighting clowns. Cut back to the girl still in the shower. Cut back to them driving around, doing all this stuff. Like, th- she had to be in that shower no, for four well, hours. That, yeah, I, I realized that, that shower scene is done in real time. Well, so... Real, our, our time. Yeah, but I'm saying... It, it is legit... Uh, I'm saying everything else that they're showing while that's going on is should no, the take timeline is is multiple whack. hours. Right. There's no way she can have that much like hot water sustainability <laughs> after four hours. <laughs> this, I don't. I don't buy it. So I I watched this movie. I feel like I have to confess. I watched this movie this morning, okay. and. I was running out of time before we were supposed to podcast. So on YouTube, I put it on two times speed to get through it in time. I wish I wish I had thought of that. And there's a good portion. Like so some of the characters when they're talking sound sped up. The yeah. but that's it. That's all it affected. Everything else, like when they're walking around, when there's like stuff going on. It all felt like it was going at a normal speed, and there's a, because everybody moves so slow in this movie. Yeah, there's this there's this filmmaking rule or idea that you shouldn't show something that takes longer to show than it takes to say it, right? Like, so if you say, "Oh, the the character stands up off the get stands up from the couch, walks out of the room," yeah, that clip he should have been able to do that. Yeah, the, that clip should take about the same amount of time to say that. If it's taking three to four times longer, you you got way too much fat. You need to trim it down. But what if you said, this character gets up off the couch and runs around the earth ten times? <laughs> at, at, at a normal human's pace. Not like Superman. So the point of it is to avoid your movie being boring. Would you want yep. to watch a normal human run around the earth 10 times? I would rather watch that than this movie. <laughs> oh, this is it's Yeah, re- I imagine I would want it to be like the 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 running scene in Forrest Gump, but just like 10 times around the whole earth. <laughs> oh man. Um So yeah, the, there's a, a UFO that's carrying clowns that crashes onto earth people get into the ufo and find out that they're making cotton candy bags that have people oh, inside of them yeah that they what use was that? okay first silly first straw i want to rewind to suck their blood Ugh, that was so gross that made me sick to my stomach <laughs> uh, i want to talk about how okay you're you're outside and you see a shooting star yeah you're gonna go chase a shooting star you think that landed somewhere it's not like they thought they saw like a meteorite crash down. It was a shooting star. What made you think you're gonna find it? It it's in the sp- it's in space. Have you lost your mind? <laughs> so I, that whole thing right from the beginning, I was like, "This is stupid. I can't buy into this now." 
Oh, it. I I especially especially hated the brothers. The in the uh, uh, the ice cream truck the ice cream truck yeah. brothers. Yep. I don't remember what their name was. They have like a a name. They're like known around town. They were awful. They were truly awful. Everyone in this movie was awful. the The main you know guy, the main guy who was yeah. originally on the date with the girl, he knew everything that was going on. He's like, she. <laughs> She's like, why are they, why are they shooting us with popcorn? He's like, because they're clowns, and they run off. They're clowns, like, like that made that made sense to him. <laughs> yeah, like, like if they had shot him with regular guns, he would have said, why aren't they shooting popcorn? <laughs> yeah, what, what are these clowns they're doing clowns. with real guns? They're clowns. And then they get um, into the I car, that- and she's like, we need to get help, and he's like, nobody's gonna believe us. I don't even believe that this is happening. It's like, well, one, it is happening. So maybe try to right. get some help. Like, even if you get locked up, that's, you're at least that's not, not getting... That's not a good reason to not seek help. Yeah, you're at least not getting chased by killer clowns. From outer space. From outer space. Oh, man. Yeah, he's pretty bad. The girl's pretty bad. But I do want to, to, to pick out my two favorite people. All right. Uh which is the two cops um, for two different reasons. Now, this is a hot take for sure. Ooh, hot take number but two. I, but I thought the the younger cop, I don't remember his name, like Mark maybe. Was it Dan? I felt like it was a Dan. Dan. Yeah, that sounds right. I, I don't think he did a terrible job. Like out of anyone in the whole movie. Now, don't worry. I mean, he was bad, <laughs> but he was like... I felt like he did the best that he could with what he was given. Yeah, I, I get there you was that. something I don't know. He had like, like um, like everyone else. I I would have guessed that this was their first acting gig. They'd never taken acting classes, anything like that. Like they're just pulled off the street, and like he just I don't know. Maybe some of his mannerisms or facial expressions. There was something about it. I was like, maybe he's at least seen like a seminar on acting. <laughs> he's seen a movie before i don't know exactly so he wasn't too awful uh-huh. <laughs> uh but That's then the other price. cop yeah <laughs> the other cop was my absolute favorite he was just so angry for with for nothing for <laughs> for nothing like he, like he's just so fed up with it he they arrest he arrests two guys who were walking in a park with a bottle of wine and he's like, your trash is destroying our town. And he throws the guy against the wall face first. And it's just like, what? You, he's like, you, you don't, at like 10 different times, he's trying to fight these guys. Yeah. And but, because they're college kids is basically his, his frustration. And they, and, they, and they look like punks. And they look like punks. But like, he's treating them like he, they were selling you know, crack to little kids. Like they were Yeah, no, they they didn't do anything wrong. They weren't like a nuisance. They I and I I did like the fact that they were drinking white wine. Like that was what they were walking around. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Well, I kind of thought that maybe they were a couple and the cop was homophobic. That was the the sub story that oh, I yeah, I, that makes sense. I put in that he's just a, a homophobic cop who is angry. Um yeah, you know, I don't know though. With it being in the '80s, there wasn't as much like um, hiding it. Like you just kind of said whatever you wanted to say about it. Being homophobic, or being yeah. gay. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Being homophobic, like it, it would have been like glaringly obvious. If, I mean, that's what I'm saying. But, it no, felt, it's definitely true. <laughs> it felt pretty obvious. It's definitely true. <laughs> I, he, maybe just, maybe it's my fault for assuming that those guys are gay, but they're just like, it's such a beautiful night. We wanted to walk the park with a bottle of white wine. They're like, yeah, we just had like a classy white wine. And it, I don't know. I, it doesn't seem like something two friends would do. That seems like a date. Like not even like, oh, yeah, it, a heterosexual would never do that. It's, that that's a date. Do you know what I mean? Like they were. Yeah, they were probably headed to the what was it called the the top of the world. 
Is that, <laughs> the, that spot where all the, the teenagers were going? Yeah, make out point. I don't know what they called it in this. Maybe the top of the world. Yeah. Yeah, I think they called it top of the world. Um, I don't know. It, but if it, the, the best part about that cop was if he wasn't like like very forcibly trying to fight these guys uh-huh. he was just saying every line so sarcastically well he was it one was of the ones like, that you understood him better at double speed because he talks so slowly <laughs> i was shocked oh killer clowns huh <laughs> okay if you say so and then he like, gets I like would- five straight calls about these clowns and even on the fifth one he's like hmm clowns huh that's crazy <laughs> my come on dude my favorite, at what point do you do you have to at least investigate my favorite character was the security guard at the end when all the clowns get out of the clown car at their oh. ufo and uh oh. he's like that guy meets a terrible demise <laughs> like what are you like, what are you guys closed. doing and like, what are you doing with those pies? And then he just gets hit with a million pies just straight to the face until he's covered in pie goop. And, it, and then he just melts. Yeah. He, I assume it was acid pies. Acid pie. Classic clowns. Um. So, okay. I guess we could try to do a brief walkthrough. I don't even know. So, the... Uh, the the place, the thing, the spaceship land. Oh, that's another one of my favorites. One of the all stars was that old man, the first one to die. Oh, I'm gonna rip this <laughs> apart with my bare like, hands. And, what in tarnation? <laughs> and then he grabs it and just gets electrocuted. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then they kill him. Um, so, so this thing lands. Well, hang on. Uh, the, there's the also two the main characters. There was also a moment where the clown was doing a puppet show, and that college kid walked in on the puppet show, and sat down and watched a puppet show, and he was laughing was at wild. a puppet show, and I was like, "This is so unbelievable! More unbelievable that it was alien even a clowns. good puppet show. That kid yeah. was high. <laughs> it's just he deserved everything he got. Oh, he man. deserved to get vaporized." Oh, I've never sure. seen a good puppet show. Well, he, I, let I don't alone know one if he got that I would watch. Or just cotton, cotton candy eyes. Yeah, I guess. Oh, so. for sure. But it wasn't. It was. Oh, oh I don't. Uh, it's it's so bad. They they find the spaceship, which is like a big tent. They go inside. They're walking around. The dude's convinced that it's like a fun house circus yet it's in the middle of nowhere yeah and then they it, stumble upon if, you, if the, you showed up and you found this in the middle of the woods you would think it was a uh uh-uh. a um what is it a, a murder house <laughs> no a fumigation tent oh like a yeah fumigation that's what it looks like Like you would you would not go inside you'd be like oh this is just full of poison let's not go in here <laughs> like that's yeah they're yeah exactly but they're like, no. I, it's like a, the old it's a man carnival. was walking around. <laughs> yeah. He's like, where's the ticket booth? <laughs> Why is there a carnival like, with no people? Oh, God. It's so stupid. What'd you do so with my they're, dog? They're, I'm going to tear you apart. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> so they're wandering around this tent and... Uh, Oh, okay. So then here's the one thing that boggled me, right? So the second area or one of the rooms they go in, it's like um, with the big like uh, electro, electric, electric ball thing uh-huh. and what looked like the, a chasm that fell like thousands of feet down. Yeah. Like, where is that? Where They're in a tent. <laughs> And but also the 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 ceiling is like a hundred feet high, two hundred. I don't know. It made no sense. But then she's like, "Oh, what is this room? Or what is this place?" And he's like, "What is this? Like a nuclear reactor?" 
<laughs> no, what? Well, then at one point he's like, "Why? Why? Oh, this is a can- cotton candy factory." And she's like, "Oh <laughs> yeah, were they making store cotton candy before they send it out?" I'm like, "Okay, so you're telling me you've never seen the machine that just makes cotton candy like on on tap?" <laughs> <laughs> on tap come on dude I don't, I don't think that's what it's called it is i looked it up oh okay so yeah so they're gonna make cotton candy and then like store it in the middle of a, a forest <laughs> and then just ship it out from there <laughs> you would definitely like, think it was drugs him, that right? made sense oh for sure it would be like crystal meth cotton candy hey taylor I have exactly a, i have a new business idea i need to talk to you about off the podcast <laughs> Yeah, let's uh, let's let's end this one here. <laughs> so yeah, so then they stumble into this cotton candy room, and they like smear it away, and there's like a face of a person. I th- I think it was the old man, right? Oh yeah, maybe I didn't realize that, but yeah, that makes sense. I think it, it was. Old it's just a blood face. Something stupid. Right. So I don't get like. He's in, they're in some kind of, it seemed like they're in some kind of like clear sack that's full of the blood with the body. And then there's like a layer of cotton candy on the outside of it. Yeah. What? Yep. Nope. That's exactly, that's exactly the Uh, reaction you should have. So they finally decide that it's uh, time to get out of there and they leave. Oh, so here comes my favorite part. So... They get out and they take off and then like three clowns like chase them out the door and <laughs> and the clown makes a dog out of balloons. Oh yeah. And it's well, like a hound dog and it tracks I, I legit thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> they I, I, I enjoyed that. Well you're you're just fundamentally wrong. Oh, no way. They uh so they 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 fu- the clowns find them in the tent and that's when they start shooting the popcorn guns. Oh, the po- I forgot about the popcorn guns. And there's which are those like deadly at any range? It's popcorn at- being sprayed, and it's going like ten feet. Well, except for the one I think turns a corner. <laughs> yeah, they, it, it's it's really bad. Uh, they get hit, and it's not a problem until later, because then the popcorn turns into mini killer clown aliens that are on like. It was like Wait, Jack what? in the Box. You don't remember that? Is that what happened? No. Yeah. So when the girl gets out of the shower, is that where the clowns came her... from? Her bathroom? Okay. Yeah. Right. I remember that. So those clowns in the bathroom. I was were... wondering where those came from. Yeah, they, they came out of the popcorn. Oh, I didn't. I don't remember that. She. Uh, huh. You see all the. I wonder what else. She I like guess. shakes the popcorn off her clothes. And it's all over right. the floor. And then you see the popcorn start crawling around when she gets in the shower. I don't remember that part at all. Well, I just remember thinking, where did these little things come from? That's <laughs> wild. I need to watch this movie again. Um, um, so the dog. I I thought that was funny. <laughs> I don't know. It was so <laughs> stupid. But I, like, it, it had like a little bit of clever to it. I kind of liked it. That's that's giving it a they lot of credit. Create, oh, it's it's a lot of credit. Don't get me wrong, but I when the movie is this bad, like you got to hold on to something. <laughs> that's and that's, that's what I'm going to hold on to. Uh, at the end of the movie, after they defeat all the clowns, there are the Spoiler three <laughs> the three main characters are standing around. Yeah. And uh, the cop, Dan, I think his name, he's got his arms around his ex-girlfriend who was the other guy's current girlfriend. Yes. And everyone was cool with that? Did I miss something? Did they get back together? Did the movie oh, forget who did the movie forget who was dating who? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, they just went through a, a big trauma together. Like everyone's just gonna kinda be hugging. Yeah, everyone's kind of be hugging. I, I I don't think you need to look too much into it. Oh, I'm going to just take it at face value. Um. Uh, anyways, I can't stop talking about that dog. Well, you should. 
I get <laughs> there's nothing else to say you about didn't that like the dog. dog. <laughs> the the clown alien turned a balloon animal into a dog, and that was it. That dog never came back. No, oh, they use it again later. Did they? I'm pretty sure we see it twice. I don't know. Either way, it's ridiculous. Um, but so they find kind of out fast the way to, the yeah. way to kill the clowns is you shoot them in the nose. Their nose blows up, and they you turn have to destroy into, the nose. Yeah, they turn into green gas. I don't know. They turn into like an emerald. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb. I, yeah. Wait, so do they die or do they just go like back home? No, I think they explode because when the when the Uber clown at the end shows up and he mm-hmm. gets he gets poked in the nose with a safety pin. He oh, explodes. Yeah. The unsung weapon. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh. Ugh. So there's legitimately no story oh, to this movie. There's no arc. There's, there's no character no story. development. There's nothing that happens in this movie other than a bunch of clowns walking around trying to kill people. Yeah. Basically, the they try to convince the police. I don't even want to. No, we're not going to. We're not going to go into it like that. <laughs> we're just going to talk about how stupid this thing is. Let's talk about all the different ways that they kill people. Yeah. Because they were quite unique. So they have a ray so gun. We've got the that turns people into cotton candy. That turns them into the cotton candy. Which is and the then most I like common. how they have like a a car that picks them up. Yeah, and then one of the problems I had was everyone is getting turned into a ray gun or not a ray gun into cotton candy until the main girl, except for the girl, she gets put inside a balloon. Yeah, like what was their intention? I don't know. Which Something creepy. Weird. I I like how when they would show the balloon, it'd just be like this almost transparent balloon, right? Yeah. But then they would <laughs> do like a close-up of it, and you could clearly see the girl like banging on the balloon <laughs> trying to get yeah. out. It's like, yeah, come on. Put some effort into this. Put her in a real balloon. <laughs> Uh, um, so yeah, so cotton so candy. There's the the gun that turns them into cotton candy. There is the, the shadow puppets. The, the, the sh- yeah, the shadow puppets that eat. Okay, so that was another thing I didn't understand. He ate like a group of like five people, right? Five elderly yep. people waiting at a bus stop at like ten o'clock at night yep. in a bad part of town. Yep. And then like, did they end up in his hand? Yeah, and then he put him because he kind of like looks down at his hand, but you don't see anything, and then he like sets it down like he put, on popcorn him, or something. Yeah, he puts them in the popcorn bag, which I assumed was to feed a, the popcorn clowns. Oh yeah, see that makes uh, no <laughs> sense still. But so so they were just shrunk down. Um. Maybe he like mama birded them, you know, like he ate them and then he spit them out into the. Oh, and he chewed them up. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Okay, that that's fine. I'm on board with that. I <laughs> I do want to talk about how th- that group of people like are so entertained by the shadow puppets. Like, come on, there's something going on here, <laughs> and then they're gone. And then I like when the the cop and the the other boyfriend they roll up on him. And he's like. There's a clown. Shoot him. Just shoot him. I was like, what? That could be anybody, guy. <laughs> a you gotta, clown. you gotta be a little careful. I, like he's entertaining these people. They don't seem hurt. They're laughing along. You can't just like shoot out. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna just shoot out my window here as I'm driving by. See, it's not how we do things on this force. That you're, you're the problem with this society, Taylor. Uh, clearly. Oh, okay. That clown ate ten people. Like if he, if he would have just shot when the guy said. He could have saved them all, but because of people like no, you, the guy was right. People I'm like you, you have to follow procedure. People like you do is why ball. a bunch of elderly people are getting eaten by shadow puppet dinosaurs on the daily. Look, if those people are dumb enough to get beaten by a shadow puppet, then they deserve it. That's all I'm gonna say. And then I like uh, I like when he tries to run the clown down, 
and he's he drives he at him like away. a full five miles an hour, and then the clown <laughs> jumps up, and the guy slowly like comes to a stop. Like, what was that gonna do? Ugh. Um, and then we could talk about the the biker gang, right? So <laughs> there's like all these bikers hanging out in like a alley or whatever, yeah. and this clown rolls up on his little bike. And the uh, the head bikesman, I don't know <laughs> what it's called, rolls up and is like, hey, let me ride your bike. And he's like, no. Well, he just shakes his he head because these clowns don't talk. They d- No, they don't talk. They just make sounds yeah. sometimes. Like, wee, 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 wee. <laughs> and so then he asks him something else. He's like, oh, well, can I squeeze your nose? No, or can I honk your horn? Honk your horn? Oh, that's what it was, squeeze your nose. <laughs> <laughs> can i honk your horn and he's like yeah yeah come on over <laughs> and then he does but he smashes and then the bike he he picks it which was really rude yeah he picks it up smashes it and then stomps on the horn he's like oh i'm sorry so then the clown like jumps up yeah flies away and he comes back down and he's got yeah. boxing gloves on and it, yeah he comes back down with boxing gloves and and proceeds to just Punch this dude's head clean well, off into a trash. One game. of the guys says, "What are you gonna do? Knock his block off?" And he punches this. Oh head. yeah, yeah. No, he says, "You gonna knock my block off?" And he's like, "Yes." And then he does, and he just punches his head right off. This movie, uh, I didn't. That was horrifying. I didn't think that we could get much lower in the hate us movies. This is legitimately the no. worst one. This is low. Um, then, so then, uh, hmm, the other deaths, I'm trying to remember. He, well, there's there one the tries to security guard. That was the best one. There's the one where the clown tried to lure that little girl out of a restaurant to club her with a giant hammer, but that didn't work out. Oh yeah. No, because she had a mean mom. <laughs> Uh, um yeah. What do you that what, what is the uh, moral of the story of this movie? Stay away from clowns. They can't be trusted, obviously. Uh-huh. And hit them in the nose. And if you roll up on a clown, shoot first, <laughs> ask questions later. <laughs> yeah, if if you ever see a clown, just shoot him in the nose. I do want to talk one more about uh, the brothers, right? Yeah. So, the final showdown with the mega clown, they Roll in in their ice cream machine or <laughs> ice cream truck. <laughs> and I don't remember what happens. It ends up like so they getting p- punched. Well, they, they slam through the wall and yeah. they use the microphone because there's the clown on top of their ice cream truck. And they're like, we are the great so-and-so. You have to let it or you have to listen to us. Let our friends go. Yeah. And then the clowns just stop attacking. They escape. And then the Uber clown comes down from the ceiling, and he is twenty feet tall, and yep. picks up the ice cream truck and just throws it across the room, and then it explodes. Does it explode? It's straight up Michael Bay explodes, <laughs> and you're like, "Oh, boy, that's the end of that." And then you see the brothers at the end, and everyone's pretty much like. Oh, I thought you guys exploded. And they're like, no, we got in the freezer. Because <laughs> well, that's going to save you. I don't know if you've ever seen uh, Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, awful. Yeah, but that, was, that, was, that wasn't a functioning refrigerator. I don't know. This is, it's, so, it's so stupid. Yeah. I guess, which leads me to my final point. Uh-oh. Uh, do they all die in the end? Because uh, they get pied in the face? Yeah, so all the clowns are gone, and then they all get hit with pies, the same ones presumably that the security guard got yeah. hit, and then credits roll. Are we to assume that they die? I hope so. I think so. But where did those pies come from? Um, it's me. I went back in time, and I pied them. Because this movie is so bad. Well, you should have pied him a lot sooner no. before they even filmed the movie. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I assumed it was setting up a sequel. Ugh. That the sequel picks up directly after that happens. 
their skin just, just melts off th- their face and they have to get reconstructive th- surgery because none okay. of these actors were going to be able to make part two because part one was so bad. Well, and I imagine that once this hit theaters, uh, they were getting calls left and right and they were probably too busy. <laughs> probably. Oh, it's so bad. It's terrible. It's, it's, it's really bad. It probably is the worst one that we've done. Yeah, no, for sure. Easily the worst one. What would you compare this to? What is watching this movie like? Oh, man. I would say watching this movie oh, gosh, is like, oh, I, I don't know. Like, um, you're what you're at a carnival and you're watching a, a really bad clown show and, and you just have like, I don't even know. It's, it's uncomparable. <laughs> I, uh, it's just like getting punched over and over and over and over again, like in the stomach and it's making you sick, but it'll never, ever end. <laughs> um, yeah, I would say <clears throat> watching this movie is, <clears throat> it's like, uh, you go to a restaurant and you get really bad food poisoning. And you feel oh, yes. sick every time you think about that restaurant. And then your in-laws take you back to that restaurant as a treat because they don't know that you got really sick there. And they're like really excited yeah. to take you there. And so you're trying to pretend like, oh, yeah, thank you so much. You know, this is really nice. But you're like dreading it the entire time because you know you're going to get really sick yes. again. It's that that moment of dread for an hour and a half while you're like, this is going to kill me. I'm going to die if I eat this food, but I, I can't get out of it. But I can't refuse it. Yeah. I have to do it because someone paid $10 for it. Yeah. It's so bad. Oh, man. Don't watch this movie. It's, yeah, Don't. it's, it's really bad. It's, it's there. It's got no redeeming qualities. No. Nothing. Not, I wouldn't even recommend watching like a trailer for it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I mean, if you do watch it on two x speed, for sure. How much time do you think that saved you? Twice, double, half. Oh well, okay. <laughs> luckily, to be honest, luckily it's not a long movie. It's like an hour and twenty minutes, but it's, it's still an hour and forty six minutes. So long. It's an hour and forty six um, minutes. Yeah, I definitely missed something then. <laughs> Uh, lucky you. Ow, that makes me wonder. Yeah, I wonder what I didn't it. get to see. <laughs> I missed 20 minutes of footage? It's all of that girl in the shower, I bet. <laughs> well, it's, you, you don't watch the girl in the shower. They just cut to the water running behind the No, I, yeah, I know. No, I, the one that I watched was like an hour and 26 minutes. That was it. Huh. The one on YouTube is an hour and 46. Wow. Now I'm bummed. I I missed out. Well, this one was rough. This one wasn't much fun to get through. Wasn't even much fun to talk about, unfortunately. No, Uh, it it was painful to talk about. Yeah, and I never want to think about this movie again. It's just nauseating. If you want to make us watch a bad movie, you can go to Patreon and vote on the the hate us category and uh, let us know what you want to make us watch. 